We'd like to welcome you from wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. I was looking at some highlights of previous races here, and the one thing that really stood out to me was the run down to turn one. It's not an easy one to navigate as everyone is scrapping to get into there first. All right, guys. Sorry if you can hear the lawnmower in the background. Uh, that would be... Uh, I don't even know. It's something going on outside uh, building a house. But today is the next episode of our career mode. And today, uh, I'm going to start doing the videos like this where they are... Uh, uh, the uh, audio is added in after because uh, for some reason the quality on the last two videos it's doing it again in this video it's like tearing I don't know why uh, but I've it did a little bit better now that the uh, uh, audio it wasn't recorded in it uh, but as you can see here uh, we got fourth in Q1 so we moved on to Q2 here uh, like I said I'm not doing the practice sessions in the video but I do them for like a half hour before I started so um yeah we got in the car is feeling really good on this track for some reason oh, so we got into Q2 uh, here and I'm only showing you the ends of the lap because uh, I mean it's not like qualifying is not that interesting it is definitely interesting to see where they go uh, but as you see we finish there uh, it was pole but you know we finished like eighth uh, so we got into Q3 here so 10 cars left, where will we finish? That is the big question here. Said, I did not know why the quality is like so bad. Uh, it's a 1080 game. I don't, I'm starting to think that like uh, Twitch can't handle it because it's been recording Forza at uh, 1080p. For some reason, this looks like 360p. I mean. <laughs> It's kind of really bad, so uh, I'm not really too sure what's going on. I'll see if I can fix it for the next episode, because uh, that'd be good. I'm pretty sure it's not easy to watch, but uh, at the end here, we get into P6, but we qualify P7. So here we are at the start of the Grand Prix. Put in Rich, put in Hot Lap, and we get a good start here. Uh, Grosjean right behind us. Seventh place we are currently in. But that is going to be Grosjean up the middle, very aggressive. We're going to take the outside line here. Uh, somehow I got a collision warning. We're going to take the outside line. Vettel comes across here. Uh, really close, actually. And we're going to kind of put our nose in there. I mean, we're still on the curb, but it wasn't the cleanest move. Uh, but it's okay. He's probably going to get us here on the straight anyway. Uh, and the thing is, like, what I'm doing since I'm recording the audio after, obviously I know it happened. Uh like in total and stuff but I'm recording it the day after so I don't remember all the little things so it's kind of like I'm reacting to it almost like you are uh, so yeah still lap one here still right in with the pack it, it's not realistic because you know we should be fighting to get in the top 10 not be in uh, P6 right now but uh, for some reason I, I'm, I'm fairly good at this track uh, and that is why so lap three here we're gonna go ahead and dive into the pits we took the ultra soft strategy as well as a few guys behind us uh so yeah the ultra softs they don't last too long but they are the quickest tire and so we're gonna go ahead and put the softs on here as you see Hulkenberg is right behind us this is gonna be very interesting in the pits here uh as you'll see so Hulkenberg goes in behind us right we take our pit stop and for some reason they let him go before i do i don't get it like <laughs> i was in the pit stop before him and i went before him uh, so we end up coming out behind Hulkenberg anyway, so now we got to get past him. He's really slow in this corner for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, but yeah, P19 right now, that's just because we took our pit stop, so we did stay in front of Grosjean, which is good. Uh, but unfortunately, Hulkenberg jumped us in the pits. Uh, that was not the coolest of things. Uh, but we did to get the position back. We do take it back eventually, but here comes a... I mean, you could just tell the Honda engine could not handle the straight. So he goes ahead and re-takes uh, the position. I actually think I might have touched him or got a uh, bad wind, and then I, I had him. It was not a clean overtake. I thought I had damage there, but I didn't. Uh, and so I just gave the position back to him. And there's a yellow flag up there anyway. Uh, looks like 
uh, the Williams uh, came in, or is a uh, got a yellow flag there. Uh, so yeah, here we are again, lap six, about halfway through. A lot of the guys on the soft tires will be coming in to take their pits soon, and that is why we go up into the eighth place right here. So you know, we started off in seventh, went to sixth before pits, and now we are in eighth. But we do jump Hulkenberg there. I don't know why, but the Renault was really slow on that uh, carousel there. Uh, maybe downforce issues, I don't know. Uh, we are, uh, they are better than us at downforce and chassis and engine, so I do not know why uh, they are really slow in that corner. I don't know why, but I do get hit by Hawkenberg there, which was really unfortunate. Kind of slowed me down on that corner. I gotta save up my ERS. I have a lot of fuel to work with here, and as we're halfway through the race, it's kind of like Vettel's all the way up there. I, uh, realistically, I'm not going to catch up to him. I just kind of have to fend off the guys behind me. And as you can see on the minimap there, it's pretty much Hulkenberg, and then there's a huge pack. Or it's Hulkenberg and Sainz, and both the Renaults, and then a huge pack. So uh, as long as I can keep him out of DRS for the long straight, uh, but unfortunately, he was uh, less than a second behind. So he's going to have that on me. You can check my ERS level on the bottom here. It is slowly depleting. Uh, which is not good because I need to save it for the straights. Uh, tire wear is looking fine right now. Engine parts looking fine as well. Hulkenberg uh, jumps us yet again. I didn't show that on camera because he just passes me on the straight every time. Uh, so we are kind of in a sandwich right now between the two Renaults. Still P7 because uh, uh, someone took their pits. Uh, that was up in the front. So back to where we started at the beginning of the race. And there's only three laps left. Uh, so this was after a uh, safety car, by the way. That's why everybody's so close to each other. Uh, but we did not get the greatest of starts off the safety car. So instead, we're behind Hulkenberg here. It's very tough. Like, we're in points. We can score points uh, for... Like, we scored points in Bahrain. I, I think we got ninth, ninth or 7th, something like that. So we could put two points finishes in a row. That'd be really good for us. But we have to fend them off for three more laps. It's not going to be easy here. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that was unfortunate. See, like, I have to cut out the parts of the video when they get, like, really, really laggy and stuff. And unfortunately, I got spun by, uh, Charles Leclerc. I got spun, and that put me into P12. So last lap here, the Williams of Sorokin is in 10th place. They might get points, but instead, I'm gonna dive them here. I take the corner too deep. And the McLaren is going to pass me as well as the Williams, and that means, and then I go ahead and jump the Williams here, so the Williams was in possible points positions, and instead, <laughs> both McLaren and I jump him. It's P11, I missed out on points by one, but the Red Bull won, uh, there's Christian Horner there. So, <sighs> three races, one points finish. It's not the best, uh, but it is realistic, though. So, yeah, Verstappen won that one. Bottas, and here are questions. You really looked in control of your car out there. Your team must be thrilled. I went uh, for the support uh, during the race. See, as you see, I got my Toro Rosso rep increased or increased. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't pick the bottom one, so I just went and picked out the guy over there. I mean, they're kind of both bad decisions. So they increased and decreased, same thing. Great. Well, that's everything. As you see here, powertrain upgrade. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Our spark plugs are going to be here on Monaco. Hopefully they do not fail. Uh, we recently got our ignition system upgraded too. So we got that one good, uh, as well as we know. So our powertrain... It's going to be upgraded come Monaco. It says we're going to jump the uh, Renault engine cars, that being the other Red Bull, uh, the Renault, and the McLaren. Hopefully that happens. Uh, aerodynamics, working on stuff. Their ability is still working on stuff. Uh, we didn't get too much, but we have a few things coming. We have an aero upgrade coming for next race and a chassis upgrade coming for next race. So make sure you stay uh, ready for that, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.